Oh, right today we're having a look at skill one by seven, 161. All right, so here we are in skill one by seven, 161. I had to do a quick think there. I've been up since like four o'clock in the morning, uh, which is basically fairly normal to me. Uh, seven had put up, oh fudge, oh fudge, oh fudge. Can I get, I gotta go all the way back. I gotta go all the way back, I hate that. Um, seven put up a, a request on the reddits for someone to take a look at their levels and uh, tell them how they're doing. And uh, I said, hey, you know what? I totally need a level to look at for today. And well, not today today, but you know what I mean. And uh, we're gonna uh, we'll do that thing. And so far, like presentation is, there's not a lot of presentation, but I got the feeling that this is not really the purpose of the level. Uh, it seems definitely to be Kind of testing how well uh, you are as a player. Oh, fudge! Oh, double fudge! Okay, I th I didn't need to do the loud O in the second one, but uh, I thought I was gonna miss that jump. It's fun-ish. Uh, are we gonna explode? Okay. Should I have grabbed something? I hope this sends us where we need to go. Why did I die? Yo, yo! Why? Excuse me, though. Uh, Hello. Okay, there's. I can climb. I, I could kind kind of. Can I can I get out there? I would like to. Um, the the thing. Oh, I like that we looped. That's kind of cute. Uh, we can't drop down forward. What the? Well, I gotta get over that wall, I guess. But I don't know how. So. Not like, not like a, a really good indication of what what's uh, to be done here. We got a a switch, and the switch does nothing. Um, well, it, hello? Uh, uh, d what, hello? What, what, why, why this camera zone? Seven, seven, hun, why this camera zone? Is it, is it broken? Is, is something broke? Is something like supposed to come down and do a, a trigger or something? I don't, I don't know. Look, I am just a silly girl who's reviewing silly levels in LVP. Oh, okay, so uh, that's not super clear, but fine. Fine, fine! I I know what I need to do now. That's the important thing. I I should have figured that out before. That's okay, that's bad on me, but also I think kind of the presentation is a little bit pants there. Uh, to make it a bit clearer that you're supposed to go... Oh, fudge. Fudge? Okay, this is cool. Yes? Good! Yay! Yay? 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 Okay, we're gonna go with yay. Um, I do think that that could have been a little bit more here. Oh, come on. Oh, fudge! Darn it! Are you gonna flip me up? Okay, just... Can I... Can I... No! Thank you! No! Pants! Oh, I hate it! I mean, I don't hate it. I don't want. I don't want you to think. I I hate what just happened, but I don't hate the level. We're gonna talk about this back at the hub. We're gonna go back to the hub and talk about it. We'll, we'll see you there. See ya. And we're back. And skill one by seven one sixty one. And I'd say it's it's an orange diamond and it's a weaker orange diamond. I went back and forth on this one as to whether or not I actually wanted to give it a red triangle because there's one point in particular that really didn't sit well with me, but I think at the end of the day, it's not an unsalvable level. It is a level that could be improved without scrapping, and I, I do think that I did have some fun with it. So, yeah, it's, it's an orange diamond, but it's it's not, it's not a great one. Um, what we've got here is basically, it's, it's a skill challenge race, uh, focuses very heavily on gameplay. Uh, very little, in fact not at all I would say, on visual presentation, and that is one thing that I did feel definitely sat against it. I know not everyone is strong in the visual presentation department, not everybody sees the same uh, need for visual presentation in a level, and not every level needs to look like it comes out of a museum, and those are all certainly fair points, but I think to just use the, like, the basic cardboard, basic sponge, basic blue background in the crate mode and it looks I mean it looks ugly to be to be perfectly honest it, it looks pretty ugly and it doesn't really take that much to improve visual presentation even if you're not strong at it 
I, I put together that level presentation practice, and I, I looked at a couple of different presentation styles, kind of going up in difficulty to implement, but nothing that was actually too hard. And I think, honestly, of those styles, one of the best looking ones was the one where all I did was change the color of materials. Uh, I used the battered cardboard because it's got a tweakable menu where you can change the colors. And I added a thin bit of material just to give, like, a little bit of depth and texture to the shapes. And that was basically it, but it looks nice. Giving the players something to engage with visually, I think, goes a long way with levels, even very, very simple ones. And it definitely could have been implemented here. Another issue that I, I found with it, and it's kind of visual presentation slash gameplay, but the level is a lot deeper than it needs to be. Generally, it's four layers thick. And it really, there's none of the gameplay here that needs to be that deep. And it just makes the level look, it makes it look overly big, it, like a lot bigger than it is. And it makes it a little bit like frustrating to run back and forth to engage with some of the gameplay elements. I think you notice it most strongly in the, uh, the Velociraptor bit, where like you, if you miss it and you've got to go up the ladder and then you've got to come forward in the layer to actually get onto the Velociraptor instead of just jumping right into it. Like, none of the gameplay sections in here needed to be more than two layers deep, and I, I think that that would improve things a fair amount. Something else that I notice is that there's no kill floor. Well, there's two places where you could die in the level. You've got like the, uh, you got the fire bit that we saw in the video, and you've also got like a gas kill floor that's like much later in the level, but for the most part, like, if you're missing jumps, if you like fall uh, out of sections and you're just like losing a ton of progress now i know that's part of the the risk because it's a race and you know a loss of progress is a loss of points so like it kind of fits but to make the player run all the way back and i think it's just going to be more frustrating than actually compelling and just like killing the player putting in checkpoints so that you control how much progress that they're going to be losing, and I think it's going to make for a better overall experience, even if it's going to make the race a little bit uh, quicker to get back into. So that was that was like an, another point, not a visual point, but just another point. As far as like granular issues with the level, and there's for the most part it's not too bad, but there are a couple of like weird places, and there's like that one place that's that's a real problem, but like. As far as weirdness, we have that bit that we saw in the video where you've got a monkey bars underneath the section to, to progress on with the level, and I just think that the camera, moving the camera down a little bit in that area, because like, the, the way it is, the focus is above the bit where you're going to be monkey barring, which makes it look like you want to run across that material and drop down the gap that's over on the left, when what you want to do is to drop beneath it and monkey bars over to the left, and it's just like... It's a little thing, but I think it would kind of speed things up for the player. Uh, another bit, this one is a little bit weirder, and I don't really know why it happened, but after that section, and you're on a teeter-totter, right? And so you've got a, a, like a chain of score bubbles that's going off to the right, and you've got like a little bit of material and a cannon that's not really obviously a cannon that's over to the left. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to clear off all those score bubbles so that the teeter-totter can do its full, like, its full rotation. And it's supposed to launch you up on the left side to get into that cannon. Now the first issue here is that the visual cue of the score bubbles going off to the right, and you can see the platform to the right that you, you want to get to to progress the level. And I think that what that's going to do is it's going to cause the players to think that they want the momentum of the teeter-totter on the right side to send them over to that platform to continue, when in fact, like, it doesn't have enough push to do that. Even if you're, like, really close to the edge and you jump at just the precise point, and all you're going to do is you're going to fall down and you're going to have to do this really fairly large chunk of gameplay to get back to where you were, when all you're supposed to do is to go to the left, I think, like, maybe just, like, you could put a sign there where, like, once you've gotten the last point bubble, that, like, a sticker panel will start blinking to, to arrow over to the left again so the player knows to run back and not waste the time over on the right side, and I think that would just help that section feel smoother. 
But now the second point, and this is really weird, and maybe this is just the one time, it's just LVP's engine being strange, but... So you're clearing off those, those point bubbles, it's allowing the platform to move, and somehow the platform moved, the teeter-totter moved through the final point bubble, so that, that the point bubble was like below it, but then it wouldn't move back through it. So I actually had to pop that point bubble to get the platform to be able to go all the way down so that it would, uh, it would give enough momentum to send me up on the left side to get into that cannon. And so you, you kind of have to jump and like circle under the platform to actually pop that point bubble. And I have no idea why that happened. I don't think this is anything on, on 7161's point. I don't think that they did anything wrong here. This is just like LVP being weird. It should have never been able to do that in the first place, but it certainly did. And so, like, I don't know how to fix that because I don't know why that went wrong. So, yeah, maybe that'll happen to you. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But, so you get over to that cannon, and it's going to send you over to this... Actually, it's... It's neat in theory, so you've got like a flipper that you're going to be grabbing, like a pinball flipper that you want to grab onto, and there's a rotating flipper underneath it, and it's going to keep on swinging around, and it's going to hit the flipper that you're hanging from, and eventually it'll hit it with enough momentum to send you up to the next section, and like, you can kind of wiggle to make it go a little bit faster, but it does feel like you're, you're doing a lot of waiting in that section, but it's not, it's not like too bad. I, I feel like it could have been, like, maybe the motorboat could have been a little bit, had, had a little bit of a higher speed to get it going a little bit quicker, but, like, you can wiggle it, so, yeah, it's, it's not that bad, but the section after that, and that's the real, that's the real point of contention here, because what you've got is a, you've got a grappling hook, you've got a round bit of cardboard that's attached to something by a regular bolt, zero strength, and you've got a round bit of uh, the sponge material hanging from that with string. And you're supposed to swing back and forth on the grappling hook and eventually get enough momentum so that it'll send you to the platform above and you can continue on. And oh my god is that section so frustrating. And it doesn't feel like there's anything that I could do to make it go quicker. Like, that's the thing here is that like, with these skill based levels and they're supposed to be really hard, but you're supposed to be learning about the obstacle each time that you fail at the obstacle. Like, each death is teaching you a little bit more. Like, oh, I should jump a little bit later, or oh, I should jump a little bit earlier, or I need to grab at just this precise point. But in this, because you've got like three different bits of rotation that are all adding to the momentum in positive and negative ways, and it's not like something that you can really just put together in your brain and say like, oh, I need to be exactly here and I need to shoot the grappling hook exactly at this section. So, at this moment that is. So what ends up happening is that you just keep on doing it and keep on doing it and keep on doing it until you're lucky enough that, you know, just by chance, you get everything strung together right that it's going to send you up high enough. And I hated that section, and I don't know how to fix it, because I don't use grappling hooks in my levels, so I can't really give advice, and that's the one bit that I feel like it just should be scrapped. It's... that's not any fun, and, and that's the point where I was like, this is a red triangle level, this is awful, and I hate it. So I'm really sorry, but there's your point of failure in the level. Uh, you get past that section, and there's nothing really too difficult, you've got some quote-unquote precision jumps on solid platforms that are like it's really really generous because the platforms are really close together and honestly I think that you can improve the level make it harder by taking out some of those platforms and making the jumps a little bit trickier also the triangle platforms in that section and there's like a little bit of square material that's like on the, the top point that you're jumping to just make it a point like just have them jump from point to point it's doable it sucks it's really hard but it can be done, and it would play to what the level is actually attempting to do. After that, you've got some square bits on motor bolts that, like, they'll speed up, but that part's not really that difficult. And then it's just you grab onto some sponge that's on floating material, and you can just... The first time that I did that bit, 
and I missed, there's arrows that are telling you where you're supposed to be going, but I didn't quite go far enough out, and I actually missed the platform I was supposed to go to and sailed all the way down to the crate mode floor, and I laughed. It was really funny, but it was also kind of goofy, but like, yeah, and like there's, there's nothing past that point that is really, really all that much of a challenge, and I think that's like, that's kind of one of the downsides of this level is that it, it seems like, it says that it's going to be testing your skill, but I don't really feel like it ever fulfilled that promise. I don't think it ever really lived up to that, because aside from the grappling hook bit, there's nothing in this level that's really particularly hard. I think that most players would be able to handle this level. Um, 7161, like, I I know I said a lot of negative things about this level, and I, I, I don't want you to take them to heart. Like, I don't want you to take them personally. I want you to take them as constructive criticism. Because I do think that this level, it has the bones of being a better level. Like, the, the, the bits and pieces in this level, I think, definitely can be improved upon to, to get a much better uh, result. But, as it is right now, and it's, it is a bit of a weaker one, I think I've said pretty much everything in here that I, I could say. So, I'm going, to, I'm going to depart. So, from me, Bisco, here in Tokyo, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, Thank you, thank you, arigato, arigasamu, not a see you, and ciao.